Hello everyone, this is Chris's Cool Videos and Fun here, and today we're going to be reacting to a video made by The Odds One Is Out, and that being the title, Growing Up Without Cable. So, let's check it out. And also, this is my first time reacting to The Odds One's Out. Imagine if Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu never existed. What would you be watching right that wouldn't now? Even, that wouldn't even be possible. Would you be, be watching this? I don't think so. You'd be watching this box no. <laughs> right here. A t Hello, yeah, this box is all on this retro device, looking instead TV. Instead of picking what you wanted uh, to watch TV, and when you wanted to watch it, the television I think my decided grandpa has that, that kind of you. Uh, TV. And instead of watching a single five-second skippable ad in the beginning, you'd have to watch five 30-second long unskippable ads. Can you think of anything more yeah, that would be, uh, than be advertisement also right in the middle of your show? That also advertises on TV. I don't know if my parents were being cheap or uh, trying to discourage an unhealthy habit of watching too much TV, but growing up, my parents didn't have cable television at all in the house. Now, in this modern day Not and age of TV online content, Comcast? some are of you, you are living me? perfectly content lives without cable. I know I am. But you have to understand, in the early 2000s, online video wasn't a thing. Yeah, YouTube was created in 2005, but what yeah, did that we all know, yeah, This guy YouTube at a zoo? That's lame. So being an early 2000s was kid, you had to get your zoo. cartoons through the TV. And if My your parents first video didn't pay $65 video on a month to get cable, I first, uh, started then you didn't watching get YouTube the channel to SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron, or like Courage the Cowardly Dog. The only thing you got was this green brother and sister called PBS Kids. Oh yeah, I remember that. I whatever these those things were. My child, PBS the, Kids stands for Public like, I Broadcasting I their Service. It's like these green um, kids. That meant all the shows on PBS Kids yeah, were yeah, government public or broadcasting privately funded. Service. So the shows on PBS didn't really have any commercials um, per se, I remember but they did have the same sponsorship ads that would play a message before yeah, I every show. I remember if you grew up on PBS Kids, then Juicy Juice and Where a Kid Can Be a Kid is yeah, just juicy juice. great yeah, in your memory. Kid be a kid. And also, every show would thank you, the viewer, for watching. So be, and like I think that's really nice. Like when I was watching Caillou on TV and I see this on my screens, I remember that. It was You're welcome. I'm kind of glad my parents... Who also remembers cable. that? Because instead of Besides spending me. hours of my time it, watching mindless television, I spent hours of my time mindless television. watching television with morals and math. With morals, yep, a lot of okay. shows on PBS were either educational or taught you how to be a good person. The shows I'm going to mention had pretty crazy yep. concepts, but the sure conflicts did. in each episode were very down-to-earth and slice-of-life-y, almost like the shows were made for children. Like in Clifford the Big Red Whoa, Dog. Whoa, no crap. It's a show about this oh, girl's yeah, dog Clifford. who grew up yeah, to be Clifford. the size of a freaking house for no reason, except wow. for the fact that the girl loved the dog <laughs> yeah, so there's, much there's, that he grew up yeah, to be a the girl. monster. Uh, so I that means name, if your dog do is that. normal do size, see that girl in the, you don't in love the it show enough. Clifford. And it probably doesn't love you. So, yeah, a giant red dog is a pretty weird premise, but the episodes were about everyday things. Like, this blue dog feels bad that he tore up his owner's sweater, and his friends tell him to just be honest, and he does, and everyone's happy. Or the episode where this new dog moves into yeah, town, yeah, but he did he's be missing a leg, that. and then Clifford and his friends have missing to learn that having I, okay, three legs like still a, means you can accomplish a lot of things error, any like normal human can do. Or making an error I mean, dog. I and I rate this show the show a 10 or took out, out of 10. Foot. Next is Dragon Tail. It's ten a show out that 10. made dragons kid friendly. There's Org, he's the biggest, oh, not oh, so okay. great of yeah, heart. Dragon There's Tales, Cassie, I've she's seen so the shy, show but so very smart. There's Zack and Wheezy, okay. and their tales yeah, of fun. Because you know, two heads are better I've than one. Dragon Tales, so, yeah. Dragon Tales, it's almost time for Dragon Tales. The show was pretty oh my similar God, to Clifford. No, the characters no, would spend no. an episode learning everyday things, like so how to do a cartwheel, or they would try to make it rain so they could show their friend what a rainbow looks like. There was also this grandpa dragon who knew Spanish for Ew, some reason. Is that a mac and cheese bite? Los niños. And that wasn't the weirdest thing on the show, actually. There was also a dragon character in a wheelchair, which, just like Clifford, a is a good character because Why it would a teaches dragon kids be on that a disabled people are still people who can accomplish a lot of things. But I think it's a weird combination of two things. A dragon, a mythical weird combination beast of two known what? for destroying cities... In a wheelchair. Mythical if you beast wanted for to stop a dragon things. from destroying yeah, yeah, your city, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like then you just Mortal don't Kombat. install wheelchair like ramps anywhere. Logo, I should stop like a dragon on I rate the show a 10 it's all out of 10. And stuff. Now let's talk about Arthur. Yep, 10 Here's out of 10, trivia. even though I've Arthur never watched this show. But I, I have seen the kids like, doing the chant. I don't chant. see it. Basically, like the, it was I a wish show I wish about Arthur and his other furry friends learning oh, lessons, yeah, now we're on to Arthur but next. Arthur tended to tackle now, this, more this serious subjects than the other two shows. Like, they have episodes where DW hears her parents get oh, in a fight God, and she I, 
stories I, about them like, getting I, a divorce? I, I was, I or the episode where Arthur DW Falcon punches his little sister? When I was a and kid. even having to deal with someone you know getting cancer. Because, you know, she's a, more of a brat. The character gets treatment and lives, by the way. Because it's a kid's show. 10 out of 10. Well, Next, obviously. Let's talk about my favorite okay, show. Okay, so you're on just rating sh- every single Cyber show a 10 out of 10. Cyber Chase, we're wow. moving. We're beating moving. Hacker at we're his game. Don't hacker at don't his game. Da, 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 the show didn't teach like, yeah, kids yeah, morals or how to properly treat the disabled. It taught them Cyber something Chase, far yes. more important. Now, this, this. Nah. Cyber Chase is set yeah, inside a virtual a good show. computer world, and this one character <laughs> named Motherboard yep. was supposed to be the queen slash protector like, of this world. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a kid's version of Power Rangers because the villain of the show, something. Christopher Lloyd, infects her with a virus. So now these three kids have to go on adventures using math principles to thwart the bad guy's plans to save Mommy Board. M- motherboard? Yep. Motherboard. Right, mommy. Mom, come back. Mom, you know. We need to save Mommy Board. <laughs> and unlike all the other shows, this show had an overarching story. The kids would always get an this overarching close story. to saving like, Motherboard, I but show nothing is still, they did worked. When org, I was a kid, I still, always wondered how much longer day. it would be until they finally saved her. And they until never they did. finally the saved her. The show's who? been going on for 16 years, and they're still learning it's new still math going principles on in 2024. trying to Don't save Motherboard. <laughs> I think they're at calculus at this point. The show is teaching you slower than an actual school. What kind of a show makes you wait 16 years for a conclusion? Cyber Chase does, and it's one of the best shows ever created. 10 out of 10. One last exactly. show I want to bring up is called Caillou. Ten, yeah. All you need to know about Caillou, Caillou. is that oh, I hate him. Caillou no, is a four-year-old and a demon. He constantly throws a tantrum whenever he doesn't get his way. Yeah. Even in his theme yeah, song, exactly. he mentions how much Fuck of a brat Caillou. he is. Caillou's a brat. Up, Caillou's so annoying. I've had enough. And then he's crying like a child. Shut up. Well, you're going to have to grow up, Caillou. The world doesn't revolve around exactly. you. Now, you might Thank be thinking, you. James, Thank this you, kid Oz is four years out. old. Of you course it's going to be a brat. And I agree, but a big problem with yeah. Caillou isn't the fact that he's a brat, but it's with his spineless parents. Caillou's mom just lets him exactly, get away the parents with everything. Are his Whenever I misbehaved, you know what happened to me? I had to go sit in the timeout corner. You know what happens to Caillou? Nothing. Not once does Caillou Nothing. ever get punished. So, yeah, Caillou mom basically teaches like, children how to become a brat and nice. now, become entitled behave, okay? and shit. Zero out of ten like, with the show with just I hate the humans. Caillou. I hate it. I just realized yeah, that zero all the shows ten. I mentioned were animated, <laughs> but there was a lot of non-animated shows that I still watched. But whatever, I could just say that these shows fit the theme of my channel. Or it could make a part two. I can do oh, whatever okay. I want. Now, as a die-hard PBS fan, okay, fanboy, every single show I think that I he's had, that he has, everyone, that he likes, when I say I that what heard, PBS was missing, watched, um, except was a for crossover Tales, which I have How seen. How hard would it have, have been it, for the Clifford people I've never and the Dragon Tail people childhood. to coordinate an episode where the three-legged dog finds the dragon scale? He could dig it up out of the sand because dogs like to dig, except. This dog wouldn't be that good at digging. And then he would meet up with a wheelchair dragon and they could be best friends. I would have loved that. As much as I'm joking about it, as a kid, That's I actually not possible. really wanted Trust a crossover me, episode <laughs> between the shows Clifford and Clifford's Puppy Days, which is another show Clifford's that follows Puppy Clifford Days? before oh, yeah, my, he was interesting. He was one tiny, of the DVDs of so Clifford's before Puppy Emily Days Elizabeth and loved and him. The so there was a bunch of new characters that all like knew Clifford when he was little, Clif- and the two and shows Puppy existed Days, in the same Dora, universe. So it wouldn't have been that unbelievable for Clifford to visit yeah, his childhood boxes. home. And then all the other characters who used to call him and Small yeah, or Squirt would see him now and be like, from. What the f**k happened to you? You see, it's funny because it's a kid's show and you wouldn't expect them to say that. I waited patiently for that crossover episode, (laughs) but it never came. But at least I have fan fiction. George, he wagged his tail and smiled. Clifford, it's so good to see you. He nuzzled him as a greeting. Yo, why he blushing? Nice to why see you too. What it's been over seven this? years since why I last saw you. Why were they you. blushing? Yeah, it had. Clifford said happily. Why is that George other Clifford in a dress? Here I come. It's no quotation marks, by the way. He got ready to tackle him. He punched George off, and they the rolled fuck down. Is this? Then, when they got to the bottom, George pinned Clifford, who was panting. The three looked at the what two the of fuck men, is this? who seemed to be having a staring contest. So they decided to go. Bro, hell no, nah, I'm skipping this shit. I'm not watching this crazy shit. Okay, that's enough. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Oh, that was it? That was it? 
oh, I thought it was going to keep going. Um, but anyways, um, okay, that should be the end for this reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.